Hi everyone. Uh, do you have any idea about uh, IG2 examiner feedback form? How important that uh, IG2 examiner feedback form? So in this video we are going to see about this IG2 examiner feedback form. Let's get into the video now. Welcome to Greenwell Group channel. This is Jack Prakash from Greenwell Group. And uh, please subscribe our channel. And there is a notification bell button. Please uh, enable it and share this video once you feel it is worth to watch to everyone, to your friends and family. Let's get into the subject. IG2 feedback form. Why it is very important? This IGC exam, I already shared a few videos about that. It comprises of uh, two units, IG1 and IG2. In this particularly, IG2 is uh, related with the report writing. I, IG1 is an open book examination. Once you are registered for first time, on one fine day, your results will be released. Once the result released, on the second day, you will receive this examiner feedback form for the IG2 in your emails. It's uh, very important if you got pass mark in IG2, no need to worry. And those who got referred, it means those who got failed in that. The examiner's uh, feedback form is very important. So uh, before, until you get your results, keep your IG2 reports safer in a mail or in a drive. Keep it safe until you get your results. I will tell you why. Once the results are uh, declared, Based on that, your IG2 feedback form will be released. It will be directly sent to your email ID. Once you verify that, you can able to see over there. If you pass that IG2, all the points over there, uh, the report writing, once you get uh, familiar about the subject, you know, like I will give an example, like 10 points, if you have to write and uh, report means, they will check all the 10 points and they will say all the conditions met by us. Then you will be passed. Suppose if someone got referred, it means failed. Then in that IG2 report, the met conditions will be, some of the points will be, they will mention it as not met. So it means that you are not uh, meeting the criteria of the NEBO and their standards in this particular report on that particular point. For example, in a 10 point, if you are not met any two conditions, then you will be considered as a failed candidate. It means referred. And again, you have to receive for the exam on a nearby date and you have to follow the same step, register and pay again and you need to uh, sit for the exam. In that exam, what you have to do? So I already key, ask you to keep your uh, report, the first time submitted IG2 report safe in some place like email and you can save it in the drive also. So you have to check which conditions you are not met. So in the whole, uh, overall main copy, edit the not met conditions alone. That is sufficient. Keep remaining whatever the things you are uh, met conditions are there. You have to keep all these things as it is. Once you satisfy all the met conditions, that's enough. The unsatisfied not met conditions, you have to edit that. That is the only part you have to take care. And the IC2 report feedback form, it will have two phases. On the second phase, they will give you a, a descriptions of what are the things you are not met. They will give you a detailed description based on that. You have to edit your paper and again you have to resubmit. So keep your original copy and edit the not met conditions alone and again you just resubmit on the next exam day. So this is the principle. So why I just ask you about the importance of IG2. This is the importance of IG2. Uh, so far I have explained now. So keep your IG2 paper and get your IG2 feedback form. What are the conditions not meant? Please look at uh, those who got referred. I'm talking about those who got passed more. So well and good. I'm happy to them. So if someone got referred for them, I'm just giving you this uh, important idea about that. How to go ahead with this IG2 on the next step. So get the uh, feedback form and check which conditions you are not met. So edit the not met conditions in your previous paper. Uh, keep remaining uh, everything as it is. Only edit IG2, not met conditions. So again, submit the same paper on the next resetting time. This is the procedure you have to follow. I hope this information is uh, very much important to you all. If you think 
this is useful to your friends also please share this video see you on uh, next video thank you all